Hey, you. Sorry, it's past 12 o'clock. You have to just, uh, have to work tired tomorrow, you see, you. Hmm? <clears throat> Dear voters of Alabama, hey, you. I think we I talked about it yesterday. I said, listen, the state of Alabama is your business. It's not mine. I live in the state of California. I understand that you've been living the better part of 180 to 200 years as a conservative, deep red state. You've got a lot of you've got a lot of darkness in your uh, state's history. I believe George Wallace, the governor of Alabama, stood in front of a school and didn't let a black girl into school. Because she was black. I believe Selma, Alabama happened. Where civil rights leaders were almost killed and they crossed the bridge. You have not been on the right side of a lot of things. And the state, because of its conservative values and its uh, its connection to evangelicals and the church. And because there's not a lot of room for any other message than the one you're hearing, the conservative deep red message, there's not a lot of room to hear any other noise unless you go to school and educate yourself in the liberal centers of Birmingham and Tuscaloosa, with the exception of a couple of big cities in Alabama. This is an opportunity. Tomorrow, you guys are going to go vote. And the options are this. I know you do not like liberal values. I understand that pro-choice and pro-life is a very big deal for you. I understand that gay marriage is a big deal for you. But we're talking about a man who has hurt children. And I know a lot of you have decided sitting up or maybe you're waking up this morning and you're thinking to yourself, oh, he didn't do it, he didn't do it, it's 40 years ago. And this, I want you to hear this before you go vote. The Washington Post has been around 200 years. They don't get it wrong. They went and looked for women. The women didn't band together and go to the paper. They went and found them. They've been sourced by 30 other people. The man was banned from a mall. Because he was a creep walking around a mall. The mall said, you can no longer come here, sir, because we don't like the way you interact with young girls. Citizens of Alabama, I'm cool with you being conservative and I'm cool with you having your deep red state. But tomorrow, you're going to go and you're going to elect somebody to represent you. And if you choose a child molester because he's purely Republican, this is going to further stain who you are in this country. You will be judged by the other 49 states in America. You will lose massive economic opportunity. Businesses will know what well, they will not move to Alabama. You've got to take a look at not the small game. Look at the end game. You can lose this Republican seat for four years and go find a Republican that isn't a child molester. Let the Democrat win. Please. Because it will be one of the darkest days in the history of a very dark state. Take a breath and see the long game. Let us believe that Alabama has come a long way. Do not vote for this man. This is none of my business. I don't live in Alabama, but I am a citizen of the United States of America, and I get emotional when I think to myself that a state could end up voting for someone purely because of their political affiliation to the point where they touched children and they still voted Republican. If that doesn't matter, then where is our decency? There's nothing worse than this. This man has hurt children. Do the right thing. Thanks for listening.